Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tatiana and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I go from curly hair to straight hair. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with wet hair. I just got out the shower and I just finished washing my hair. So um, what you're going to need is a wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb, oh shoot, um, a straightener, and then a blow dryer as well. Um, I would recommend turning on like your straightener now because like the hotter your straightener is the better like it'll get your hair silky straight so i'm just gonna section my hair off into four so i just split it down the middle and then i'll take oh you'll need like a couple of hair ties too so i'll just take like um one side i'll just pin one side up into a little bantu knot i used to hate when my mom did these on my hair when i was younger okay so I'm just going to put it in a little bantu knot and then I'm going to take this half and I'm going to section it off. I'm going to section this as well and put the back one in a bantu knot. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to take some of this Chi um, 44 Iron Guard. It's a thermal protection spray. So I just use a couple sprays before I blow dry my hair on each section. So after I spray that in, I'm just going to go ahead and like comb through. Now I don't have anything in my hair right now. My hair is completely dry. Um, As you can see, it's like really dry already. So I have no product in it. Everything was washed out really well. Okay, so after that is nice and combed through, I'm actually going to take these out the knots, actually, because I need to comb my whole head. So I'll comb this through, and then I'll put this back up in a bantu knot. Just roll it and twist it. And then I'm going to go back here and comb this one before it gets, like, really tangled. You want to start at the bottom as well, too. So it doesn't pull your hair out. But yeah. So I'm just going to comb this right through. Make sure it's nice and combed. There's no knots. My ends need to be trimmed really bad. So I haven't shaved my hair since I kind of want to say the summer maybe. I don't know. I know I don't like to straighten my hair in the summer because it's so hot. And then I just sweat it out. So I'm going to spray some of this stuff in it. And then I'm just going to comb through it. And then put this back up in a bantu knot. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the side. section spray it. I realized I forgot to spray this one. Take it out. And then just comb it through like so. Little baby here. Okay. Alright, so now that this is nice comb through I'm just going to put this one in Bantu Knot as well. Oh, I need like a... Oh. And you'll need some bobby pins too. Okay. I'm just going to leave that. So what I like to do is I like to keep my hair section in fours. And then sometimes I'll do like the top first or the back first. But I think most of the time I do the back first. I know when I straighten I do the back. But blow drying, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. You just want to make sure that your hair is super completely dry. Because if not, 
it's not gonna look cute when you straighten it okay this is just oh this is a conure blow dryer i have the little diffuser on but you can take it off for this purpose because we're not we don't need this so i'm just gonna take this off okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry this um section of my head and then i'm gonna finish the rest of the sections um i'm also gonna blow dry on I'm gonna blow dry on high. I'm not gonna do cool. I'm gonna do high because my hair is like pretty damp. Normally what I like to do is braid it. I, I like to wash my hair the night before and then I'll braid it. And then the next morning I'll take it out because my hair will already be dry. And then I won't have to use extra heat from a blow dryer. But since I'm doing this pretty last minute, I'm just gonna use a blow dryer. <laughs> So now that this is dry, I'm just going to put this one a bit in a bantu knot and then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of my sections. <laughs> So like I said, it normally takes two hours, so I'd probably be done by 3.16, right? Oh my god, 3.16, I literally have to go to work in the morning. But this is what I decided to do, so. The only reason why it takes me two hours, which a lot of people think that's just, like, absurd, is because I do really small sections. Like, I do not play about the size of... Um, like my hair section I have to do it really small because I feel like the smaller you do it the better like if you do big chunks it's not gonna be silky straight like it's just gonna be it's gonna look like this I feel like if I do like bigger chunks I just like it's gonna look like probably a little bit smaller version of this and that's not what I came here for so so I'm just gonna comb this out make sure no knots and then I'm going to split the section in half. And I'm going to start with the back just because, I don't know, honestly, I think the back is, well, not that it's easier or anything, but I think it's just easier to start with the back. I just, anyway, I'm just going to act like I didn't say that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the section about this big. I'm going to comb through it again just to make sure I get all the knots out. Okay, and now I'm going to take my flat iron. It's nice and hot. Okay, and I'm just going to do little section by little section, honey. So I'm just going to take like really small sections. And then after I get a small section, I'm just going to twist and then clip. Just like that. And this is where your rat tail um, comb comes in. I'm going to brush each section, okay? So, brush or comb, whatever you want to call it. Comb it through, and then I'm going to take my straightener. I'm going to straighten. And sometimes it'll come out, like, really bad. So, I'll have to go over it a couple times. But I don't straighten my hair that often, so I feel like it's okay for me to go over it a couple times. 
please do not make fun of my ends because I know they need to be trimmed. But yeah, I just sort of like keep going over it until it's to my liking. <laughs> So the time is now 146 and I started at 116. So um, but yeah, it took me 30 minutes, 30 minutes each section, two hours pretty much. So I'm just going to leave this side to the back and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to comb it through and then I will straighten this side. side done the time is now 206 so the last time we ended I was 146 sure yeah it's pretty um it's pretty straight that's how I like it I like it very straight I like it very bone straight I know some people prefer to straighten their hair differently but this is how I do mine so now I'm going to go ahead and do this side and hopefully I finish by 3 o'clock. So this is a finished look and the time is currently 2.52. So basically 3 o'clock, just finished before 3. This is the final look. And this is how I get my curly hair to straight hair. Thanks for watching, guys.